Welcome back to the Entrepreneurial Edge. I'm Chris Bishop. Now you can follow us on Twitter for updates on future guests. Our handle is Entrep Edge. Plus, you can also email us on entrep at abn360.com. Your feedback is always welcome. Now, still in the studio with me, I have Romeo Macubela, the CEO of Vunan Fund Managers. Now, just following what we uh, finished off with in the first half, one of the great complaints in within the system of business in South Africa today is that a lot of people um, like yourself, uh, rising black professionals, they are often being poached and people are getting job offers, there's a big demand, and sometimes people are moving through the system without, unlike yourself, you learn from the bottom right up, without getting that sort of knowledge. How much of a problem is this? Well, I think it's a, it's, it's a, it's a, it's a serious problem, you know, because you've got, um, you know, certain institutions that, you know, believe in just poaching people, you know, and, 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 and you know, when you're offered, you know, good packages, you know, it's, it's much more easier you know, to, to attract people. But I don't think it's the right thing, you know. But partly, I think also some of our investment, um, investment or even mining, you know, you know, professionals, you know, people shouldn't be driven by money, you know. And, and I know at some stage, you know, it, 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 it works out, you know, and, and people would have that money, you know. But, but I think it's critical that you, 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 you work through the system, you know, you you, you get the right experience. You, 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 you ground yourself very well, you know, in terms of whatever you're doing. And clearly, you know, it will, you know, sort of take care, care of itself, you know. And, and I think that's the challenge, you know, as a country that we have to deal with. Uh, because, you know, demand and supply, you know, you, you've got shortage of skills. And people tend to take advantage, and especially people who don't want to train people. But also, I think it's a, it's a responsibility of institutions you know, to have proper training, you know, facilities, um, but also, you know, the respective individuals, you know, they, they have to, you know, take time, you know, because unfortunately, you know, if you job up, you know, you, you find you spend about seven years, eight years, but when you look at the level of experience that you have, you know, it's not something that you can be proud about. With your vast experience in the investment game, mm -hmm. where is the smart money going in, this, uh, in these days? Yeah. In not only in South Africa, but in the region and beyond in the continent? Well, I mean, um, if you look at, um, you know, emerging economies, you know, I mean, take, for example, China, you know, it's, uh, th there's been a lot of flow, of, a lot of activity, you know, taking place, you know, because, you know, there's, there's the whole issue of urbanization, you know, and... Uh, you know, you know, more people moving from rural areas, you know, into urban areas, and and, and I think the Chinese have, have got that formula quite right. You know, they 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 building the infrastructure, you know, they building the roads, you know, you can name anything. Uh, clearly, to take advantage of the system, you know, and 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 and, and government expenditure has grown a lot, and, and 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 as South Africans, you know, and I think it's 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 where we're benefiting, you know, because we we're. A a community, you know, sort of driven economy. And, and some of these Chinese are looking for these commodities. When it comes to commodities and mm. that sort of thing at the moment for investment, wh mm. wh what are your thinking at the moment with what's happening in the markets? Well, look, I, I'm, I'm, a, I'm a bull, big bull on, 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 on the platinum, you know, and... Despite the oversupply of something like 4,000 ounces? Well, it's, yeah, you know, but, uh, and, uh, I mean, people are just focusing on you know, what, what is happening, you know, you know, in some of these mining, you know, companies. Clearly, you know, if you look at implants, you look at amplets, you know, you, you know, there's a serious problem, you know. Um, you know, you've got, uh, you know, workers, you know, and, and, and so many things. But also, you know, the, the, the global economy is not helping, you know, in terms of intake. You know, but my approach is, uh, the market reacts, you know, to that information. You know, and, 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 and my investment philosophy would be, is the market overreacting, you know? Because clearly when there's negative news, you know, the market reacts in terms of share price underperformance. And, and as an investor, you, you need to look at, has the market overdone it? You know, are there, you know, opportunities? You know, because I know, you know, markets at times tend to be rational. You know, when they like something, they, they, they tend to overdo it, you know, and the, when they hate something, they tend to overdo it. 
and, and, and as a result, you know, as an investor, you need to look at, you know, those trends and, and, and pick up, you know, those kind of opportunities. What about gold and coal? Everyone's talking about them at the moment. What's your view on it? Well, you know, gold is, uh, gold, it's a, you know, it's a, it's, a, it's, a, it's, a, it's, a, it's a hedge on inflation. Quite frankly, I'm not a big bull on, 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 on your gold, you know, but, you know, for portfolio diversification, you know, you need to, you know, perhaps have uh, a few shares, you know, few gold shares in your portfolio, you know, but yeah, I'm, you know, honestly, you know, I'm more bullish, you know, on, on the platinum than the gold. Yeah. And how difficult is it in your business to sort of pick winners when it comes to investing, uh, especially with all that's happening in Europe at the moment as well? Mm -hmm. It must be a concern to you as an investor. How difficult are these times for you, these recessionary times? It is, you know, because, I mean, it's, it's, it's so difficult, you know. I'll, I'll give you one, one example. You look at uh, the retail sector. <coughs> I mean, clearly, you know, everyone you know, is aware that, you know, and, 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 and valuations are actually telling us, you know, that that sector, you know, it's, 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 it's very expensive, you know. Uh, but, but unfortunately, those shares have been running and been doing quite well, you know, in, in spite of those. You know, you look at, you know, the resources sector. You know, resources sector, you know, I mean, and the underperformance in the sector, it's huge. Uh, but also, you know, I think w the other thing which is a problem, you know, we, we tend to have peer peer pressure, you know, you look at, you know, what other people are doing, you know, you don't want to seriously underperform, you know, and, 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 and driven by also by consultants, you know, driven by clients. But I can tell you that if you were to take a long-term position, you know, for example, you know, with, with a sector like, like, like the resources sector, if you were to take, you know, a year to year view, you know, I think you'll do very well, you know. And um, what about your own entrepreneurial spirit? I mean, this is what you do now. You look for opportunities, all right, you invest for other mm. people. But what would you say of your own entrepreneurial spirit? Are you the sort of person who, if you stop being a CEO tomorrow, you go out and start something else? Or well, yes, yes. You know, I mean, I think, I think one of the reasons, you know, why, why I took this opportunity with Vulan Fund Managers, I mentioned earlier on, is that, you know, I can control my destiny. Mm. You know, I, I, you know, it's, it's a business which is not known. Uh, you know, but if you do the right things, you know, I've got a talented team, you know, I've got a supportive, you know, shareholder. And, and, and if you keep doing the right things, you know, generate the right returns, you know, you know for, for, for the investors, uh, be in a position to uh, retain and, 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 and recruit, you know, talented staff, you know, offer the right service, you know, you know, to your clients, you know, keep doing those things. You know, there's no doubt, you know, you know those, those, you know, those actions would pay off, you know, at a certain stage. How do you feel about the entrepreneurial spirit and skills of the next generation? I mean, one of the great problems of the world, and Africa in general, is the fact we've got a lot of um, well-educated people, young people, mm -hmm. unfortunately are unemployed. Yes. And a lot of people despair sometimes that youngsters are not making their own way. What, what, how do you see it? Well, look, I mean, I, I guess it, it, it's a function of, of our education system. You know, I, I, I really strongly believe that we need to have education system that, you know, encourages, you know, that level of, you know, activity. You know, you have an education system that make entrepreneurship, you know, to be a, you know, something that people can be proud about. Is it education though? Because, I mean, I know some very successful, very rich entrepreneurs, yeah. the only certificate they've got is a birth certificate. Yes. And that's it. And, yeah. uh, but they've got the mind for it, yes. they've got the thought for it. Yes. Is it, is it purely education? Well, look, I mean, you know, it's, it's the, the, the whole argument about, um, you know, entrepreneurs, are they, are, they, are, they, are, they, are they born or are they, you know, <laughs> do you grow them, you know? Uh, and I'm saying to myself, you, you, don't, you don't have to be uh, an entrepreneur, entrepreneur to be successful. It helps, you know, because if you look at some of the qualities of entrepreneurs, you know, it would be people who risk takers, you know, people who don't want to follow certain boundaries, you know, people who are optimistic, you know, people who, you know, persevere and all that kind of stuff. But I mean, it's something that you can learn. You know, it's, it's something that can be inculcated, you know, to people. You know, you don't have to be born an entrepreneur as a site, you know, to be successful. And there's always conflicting <coughs> figures about yeah. how much of this economy is now black owned, yeah. bearing in mind the changes that have happened in your career. Yes. But are you confident that young black entrepreneurs can 
take their slice of the economy that that's needed to be taken for long-term stability. How confident are you? About well, that? I, I, I am. You know, I mean, but but also you you need to put set certain processes in place, mm -hmm. you know, and, and, and it's a responsibility of all key players. It's a responsibility of the government, you know, it's a responsibility of organized labor, you know, it's a responsibility of, of a business. Uh, you, you, you need to create that kind of infrastructure, you know, uh, have, uh, you know, proper funders, you know, to encourage, you know, those entrepreneurs. But also, you know, you need to create, like I said, education. You know, you, you have to have education system that, that directs people that, look, I don't have to be employed by somebody. You know, I, I can create employment. You know, and, and, and these are some of the things that, or some of the challenges that the country's facing. And, and finally, are you a flamboyant entrepreneur? I mean, I know uh, you support Chelsea, but yeah. are you uh, flamboyant as well? No, not really. <laughs> <laughs> you yourself, yourself. But you're a football man through it. Yes, right? yes. yes. And how no, long have you been following Chelsea? Look, no, I mean, for so many years. I mean, uh, you know, I'm, I'm a big, uh, in South Africa, I'm a big case of Chiefs fan, you know, and... Yeah, you know, in, in the UK, you know, I like uh, Chelsea. And, um, well, I have to admit, on air for the first time, I'm a Fulham supporter, which is very close to Chelsea. Is it? And uh, yes, uh, Chelsea's ground was built to accommodate Fulham and Bad through nearly 100 years ago. So that's our claim to fame. But, oh, um, and um, the company, the future, where do you see yourself going? Well, it's a tough thing. You know, it's, a, you know, it's not easy, you know, but, uh, you know, like, like I said, you know, you, you keep persevering. You know, I, I think there are a lot of challenges. Uh, if you look at the pension fund industry, you know, I mean, you know, assets uh, that are managed by black-controlled, uh, you know, uh, asset management company, it's less than 10 percent, and it can't be right. Sure. You know, with 20 percent, uh, uh, 20 years of democracy, you know, mm. some of these things have to change. Um, I think these are the kind of challenges that we're dealing with. You know, we've got challenges. You know, in terms of skill development, you know, we've got challenges in terms of, you know, capacitating, you know, some of the trustees to make the right decisions. But also, you know, it's, uh, 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 you know, you, 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 you have, uh, in my opinion, you know, I think th there has to be a political will, you know, especially from the government to, to try and, I mean, if they've done it with mining, you know, they've done it, you know, with the banking. I'm not saying, you know, those are perfect, you know, but... I think the pension fund industry, it's, it's one industry which, is, in my opinion, is quite critical for this economy. Romeo Makubela, the CEO of Vunani Fund Managers, thank you very much for your time and insights. I'm afraid that's all the time for this week. Be sure to tune in again next week for another episode of the Entrepreneurial Edge. Until then, from me, Chris Bishop, it's goodbye.